Gmail.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it'll take you longer to accomplish your goal. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 330, NASDAQ off 152, SP's off 37, gold contract down five bucks, trading out at 1784 an ounce. We get silver down 18 cents, 66 dollars, 61 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down 69 dollars, 66 dollars, 61 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note down two ticks, trading 134.08. The 30 year off two at 165.02 and King Dollar. King Dollar's got a bit up here. It's up 501 ticks, 93.129. Euro is at 117. Yen's at 109.58. And the British pounds at 137 to 1 the US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we, what you're doing out here, folks, is that you're actually testing. Well, the S&P, yeah, let's bring the, the, the futures up first. You're testing the lows of yesterday. Uh, you know, yesterday you came down pretty hard. Today we come down harder. Uh, and inside the, the S&P, that number was uh, 4433. And the bottom line is that you go down there. And we did when we did get down there, it was on light of volume, man. So the bottom line, well, intraday this is. If we go into the NQs, this is telling me that as we come into this close out here, this market still wants to be bought, which is just a mind blower. But the bottom line is that that's how it's set up. The NQs had a really nice test. And you can see the difference. If you're watching Tiger TV here, it's pretty dramatic. The NQs had a high volume low from yesterday that was laying out there inside the future market. That, that high volume low had 30, 24,000 contracts at uh, 1030 in the morning. Bottom line, we got down there today. And guess what? You got down here with 15,000 contracts versus the 24, the rejected lower price. Now you're inside the range again. Once you get inside the range again, the bottom line is that this thing can climb as much as it wants to climb. So it did the test down the bottom. If we take a look at the NDX, one, uh, that three Qs, that was just the NDX 100 that we looked at, the uh, same type of setup inside there. If we take a look at it, the low of the Qs were 363.70 yesterday. Today, 363.23. Now at 363.70, they were selling down 1.8 million shares. When we got into the low out here today, you're talking about 750,000. Yeah, that's pretty clear. Uh, and, oh, yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that uh, 10 minutes ago, that buy has some volume, man. So bottom line, this is going to try to uh, claw back as much as it can. Gold, gold contract out here. We take a look at gold, gold contract down 520. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Uh, bottom line, you get to 1797. You're at 1784 right now. And the real kick is going to be like, how does this pull back? That's that's the the number here. I mean, we've we've done um, one way on the way down, down fast and furious. Uh, hits a low out here uh, a week ago Friday at 1677. Bounces out right back to the 1797 area, and you want to see it stay inside 1772. 1772 is the higher. Range, uh, and I suspect uh, if we take a look at the dollar out here, we pull this dollar up and take a look at the dollar. The dollar's had quite a move out here, half a cent, over 500 ticks. Uh, that's the last high that we out ha had out here in, in the dollar was uh, 93.162. We got, we beat it today with 93.165. The swing it's trying to take out is 93, yeah, 161, so it took that out. That means it's going after the March swing, which is that 93,437. Small caps. We go take a look at the small caps out here. What we have inside the small caps, uh, you rejected lower price. And this could get interesting now. This is why. Oh, this is good. Well, we'll see how this shakes out. So we know that the small caps, all the lows have volume. And what we did out here today is that you got down to two. This is the IWM we're talking about. We get down to... 213.75. Now, the highs of the lows is 214.44. We did volume there of 58 million shares. Well, we're not even going to be close to that. So what we're going to get here is that you're going to get a rejection of lower price with lighter volume. And that's saying, guess what, man? This market's going to bounce again. So pretty wild. Uh, in fact, I, I want to go over to the gold market for something, to show you something, too. 
because what also happened is that the gold market, uh, if you're into candlestick charting on a weekly basis, this is pretty wild how this shook out. We'll see where this whole thing's going to go. But this thing had a monster candle. It was a hammer. Uh, and you, you don't see this is on a weekly basis. You know, that last week we hit the low of 16, 1692, a high of 1777. When you see something like that, and we got higher this week, um, that's saying we're going to go a lot higher. So this is going to be intriguing watching this whole thing shake out, meaning... The dollar's going higher right now, so it's like, okay, hold it, man. You got a candle, big deal. Well, bottom line is that, you know, there's, there's a big difference. We take a look at the, and I'm going to get into uh, AEM and GOLD in a second, because what has happened was this, uh, is that Fidelity went from buyers to sellers, folks, last week. That was the first time in months, and months. We're going to take a look at the 10-year um, note, 10-year note right now. We got, uh, we did 1.2 million, so you're still doing volume, man. I mean, it gave it up on price again, but you're, do, you're doing volume, and that's saying this thing still wants higher price, lower yield. Right now, the 10 years trading out at a price point of 1.25. Uh, if we go into uh, AEM, which you're going to see, this will pop right up pretty quickly. The only ones that I saw them buy this week were AEM and, and GOLD. Um, and you can see on the 16th, well, not the 16th, they've actually bought this last Friday. They bought 4.7 4 million uh, uh, AEM. Now they own 7.88% uh, of AEM. And on Barrick, we take a look at Barrick, what you have with Barrick out here. Uh, Barrick, there we go, six is eight. There she is. Look at this, is good. So the, they've been selling Barrick for a long period of time. Guess right, they stopped buy buying it again. 1.2 million shares. So um, there's some there's some action there. There's there's definitely some action. And when Fidelity's a buyer, it's a beautiful thing. When they're in the seller, it's a disaster. Dow Industrials right now trading uh, down 331. We get the Nasdaq uh, off 154. Uh, S and P's are off 38. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs>